Why does no one use Django anymore? Reality or misunderstanding? Maybe you've heard this too. No one uses Django anymore. But is that really true? Or is it just a passing trend in the programming community? In this video, we're going to explore why Django is being mentioned less often, whether it's truly obsolete, or if it's still one of the most powerful tools in the world of web development, just a bit less visible than before. One, the power of Django, something forgotten plus. Django is a Python-based web framework that's been in use since 2005. Its philosophy is clear, develop fast, write less code, and maintain high security. Features like built-in ORM authentication system, admin panel management, a strong form system, and the MTV model template view architecture made it an all-in-one framework in its time. Even today, for projects like CMSs, user management systems, or organizational dashboards, it remains one of the best choices. Two, so why is it used less? One, heavy architecture. Django is designed for large-scale, enterprise-level projects. That means you have to make many structural decisions from the start. In today's world, where MVPs are built quickly, many teams prefer to start with Flask or FastAPI and expand gradually. Two, the front-end world has changed. Django traditionally renders full pages on the server-side server-side rendering. But nowadays, with the rise of React, Vue, and tools like Next.js or Nuxt, front-ends are built as SBAs, and Django ends up serving mainly as an API. In this case, many say, so why use Django? Fast API or Node.js is lighter and faster. Three, community and content. In recent years, Django-related tutorials have become less common. This has led the new generation of developers to lean toward technologies they see more often in YouTube videos and modern courses like MERN Stack, Flask plus React, or Next.js. Three, is Django extinct? No, it's just becoming more specialized. Many large companies still use Django, Instagram, Pinterest, Discuss, even some NASA services. But here's the thing, Django is mostly used in large-scale projects. It's no longer the best choice for MVPs or apps with modern frontends. Instead, if you have a project that needs fast development, high security, and a clear structure, Django is still a masterpiece. Four, when is Django not the right choice? If you're only building an API and your front end is written in React. If your project is simple and you don't want to deal with complex object-oriented structures and model management. If performance and flexible scalability are your top priorities and you know Go or Node.js. Five, but if you know what you need, Django is the best option for small teams with limited time and a need for a solid structure. The auth system, ORM, admin panel, forms, session, and cache management, everything is ready to go. Maybe not everyone uses it anymore, but those who know what they're looking for still choose Django. Django isn't dead. The web development world is just moving toward lighter, more flexible tools. If you're looking for a full stack framework for a cohesive project, that gives you security and structure from the start, Django is still one of the best choices. And now, a question for you. When was the last time you used Django? Or have you ever tried it? Leave a comment and tell us, what framework will you choose in 2025? 